Hi guys. Uh, good evening. Quanto lang. I want to share uh, an, uh, an experience I had at a wedding um, uh, a while back. Nangyari kasi um, sobrang traffic. Um, baha. Um, it was super, super traffic. So, um, nangyari niyan. I decided to uh, um, book a joyride kasi wala talaga hindi aabot sa wedding kung hindi. So, thankfully, um, nagbubuk ko habang nasa traffic. Was able to book. On the way, grabe talaga, man. Um, grabe talaga ang traffic. Like, baha. Uh, and I wasn't sure so I was gonna make it. Um, uh, thankfully, si Kuya Val, uh, Kuya Val super bait. Um, uh, he had an extra, may kapa na extra. So, I got to wear that. Kasi I didn't have a raincoat or anything. I was trying to buy it, pero wala. But, um, uh, yeah, I was able to ride. Um, and doon ko talaga unang na-experience talaga yung ano, guys. How hard it is for people who ride in EDSA or in traffic every day dito sa Pilipinas. Grabe talaga yung, ano, yung air pollution. Like, nakaka, ano, like, talagang naramdaman ko talaga kung gaano ka tindi ang pollution na talagang hinihinga ng mga rider natin araw-araw or everyone knows to take a bike. Ang hirap talaga. Man, so I, I empathize with everyone else to ride through our traffic. Grabe talaga. Like, man. Pero yung super solid kay uh, Kuya Val, um, ang ayos niyang kausap. And uh, wala, nagkikwentuhan lang kami. It tells me about <laughs> na tatlong anak nung umuwi. Oh, wala, nung umuwi, na-miss daw siya. So, ilan, ilan yung anak nila? I think tatlo, si Kuya Bal. What I love about Kuya Bal is, um, yes, mahirap ang buhay. Yes, um, yung araw-araw mahirap. Yes, kailangan kumayod para makakain. That day, or maybe that week. Um, pero wala akong nararamdaman na kahit anong bahid ng pagkabiktima o entitlement sa 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 kanya. Um and I, I really respect. Sobrang malaki ng respeto ko sa mga tao ganun. Like I really respect those people. Hirap ng buhay mo. I can understand why you feel ah hirap ng buhay ko. Eh may mga biktima. Ma uh, and and being a victim has nothing to do with being in a hard situation. Maraming kilala na well to do na biktima din yung pananaw. There's a lot of people like that who would justify doing something to others or feeling na deserve nila yung bagay dahil nahirapan sila or may pinagdaanan sila or just feel lang yun. But um, Kuya Val was so different and I truly uh, respect people like that. I've met a lot of people in different walks of life. Very, very, very powerful people. Very successful people. But people like that, sobrang laki ng respeto ko sa mga taong ganyan. So, Kuya Val, respeto sa'yo. It was really, really a pleasure talking to you. So Kuya Val dropped me off. And um, yun, umabot kami uh, for Har and Jill. Thankfully, umabot. Man, there were so many things na there were a lot of challenges that day. But at the end of the day, um, para sa akin kasi guys, like as a professional, and this is uh, as a host or anyone, any any professional, anyone doing a job, you really can get, you, you'd be really, really surprised if you don't let a hard situation be an excuse not to succeed or deliver or be able to do do your job properly or to serve or to bravo just to do to be able to take care of the outcome of the responsibility that was given to you professionally you would be very very surprised if you don't let a hard situation be an excuse to tell yourself ah i couldn't do it kasi ganito eh Brami kasi mga as a host, like, um, there are a lot of things I hear, and I've heard, ang hirap ng crowd. Ay, medyo malam yung crowd. Or, ay, ang hirap nito. Ah, pangit yung sound system. Ah, ganito. If you use those things kasi, and you say, um, ah, hindi ako, ako nakadeliver, hindi ako, hindi, hindi ko nagawa ng maayos dahil doon, and okay sa yun. Meaning, every time you have, you come across those situations, you cannot, hanggang dyan ka lang. But if you tell yourself, how can I deliver or how can I succeed in making sure that I do my job properly, I deliver, I deliver for, for this event, for this couple or for anything that you need to do, how can I make sure that I deliver and succeed and be able to do my job properly despite this hard situation? Then you start to ask yourself, 
even if you fail, it doesn't mean that you can't fail. You fail. But when you fail in a hard situation and you look at it in a way na parang, hmm, paano ko kayo magagawa to? Ah, pag nangyari to, anong pwede kong gawin? You'll be very, very surprised how much you grow and how much you, how far you can come and how much you'd improve in your particular job, skill, or profession with that type of mindset by not letting a hard situation or any circumstance dictate how you're able to successfully do your job. And I, I, I encourage that type of mentality for everyone. You'd really, really be surprised how far you can grow. And I'm still learning so much. Thankfully, we adjusted that day. Um, our angels, we, we did our best as a team to, to take care of their moments. And at the end of the day, uh, I mean, despite the hard situations and the challenges that arose that day, um, I could say like we really did our best to give Har and Jill their moments and take care of their moments. Har and Jill, um, I was there. Um, you are really, really, truly blessed. I know it was a hard day. I know it was a hard night. I know there were unforeseen circumstances. But you really could feel how much your loved ones, friends and family loved you despite the hard situation. So you are blessed. And I hope you guys remember that day as being a solid reminder of how blessed you guys are. You have each other. Congratulations. And it was such a pleasure hosting for you guys. Take care.